Uh, welcome to another episode in Android application development tutorial series. In the last episode, we create our first Hello World app. So our Hello World app contains a simple Hello World message. So now this is the time to test this project. So this is a complete Android Studio project. So now you can run this project on your real device or on a virtual device. For testing this application on a real device, you need to connect a real device to this computer using a USB cable. And you have to follow some steps for enable a real device debugging on Android Studio. I will explain it in another episode. But in this episode, here I am going to show you how to test this application on a virtual device. A virtual device is nothing but as the name suggests, it's a virtual device on this computer. That means you can create a virtual device in Android Studio and instead of testing in a real device, you can test all your Android application on the virtual device. So for that, the first thing, you need to create a virtual device in Android Studio. So for that, go to Tools, uh, select Android and select Android Virtual Device Manager or simply called AVD Manager. So from here, you can create a new virtual device. You can create a virtual device for tab uh, or a smartphone. Here is the virtual device for smartwatches. That means we are here is virtual device for TV. You can create virtual device for auto and here virtual device for things. So here I'm going to create a simple smartphone. So create a virtual device. So from this window, you need to select the category here. I'm going to create a phone. So here the device profiles. So I'm going to create uh, a Nexus S. Okay, I'm going to create a Nexus 6P or Google Pixel. Or simply create a Google Pixel. Okay, uh, and click next. So here is the size. Uh, screen density is 560 dpi. Uh, now click next. So from this window, you need to select the Android platform. So here is the uh, latest platform API. Now API 27 is available. Here is Oreo. So I'm going to download Oreo for that device. It is Android 8.0. So uh, you need to download it first. So click download. Uh, you need to accept the license agreement. So this is the system image for Android Oreo. Uh, click next. So now Android Studio start downloading the system image for Android Oreo. Uh, it will take a little bit time because it is around 400 to 500 MB of size. Uh, now here the installation completed. Uh, click finish. Uh, now we can select Oreo and click next. So here is the Android virtual device name. And you can select the graphic. Uh, if you have a graphics card, select hardware. It will improve the performance of the virtual device. So here it will use the computer graphics card for faster rendering. And click finish. Now the virtual device is ready. Uh, the virtual device is listed here. Now you can start it. Uh, simply click the play button here. So now Android Studio start that Android virtual device. Okay, now the virtual device is ready. It is same like an Android device. Uh, this is running on Android Oreo. So now we can test this application on this virtual device. So here is our Hello World app. 
So here there is a play button. By using this play button, you can start your application. That means you can start testing your application. So click that one. So from this window, you have to select the available virtual device. So here it is and click OK. Now again Android Studio start building the project. So here the application available in our virtual device. So our Hello World application is now successfully installed in this virtual device. So we can check it in the launcher. So here is our Hello World application. So now go to the XML file. Here is the text Hello World. I change that one. So here I simply change the hello world message, hello from Android Studio. So now the application available on this virtual device. So here in Android Studio, uh, there is an instant run option is available. That means you can simply instead of run the application again, uh, you can simply click this button. So here that change available on this virtual device. So this is how we test our application on an Android virtual device. I hope you understand all these concepts. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.